Hi everybody, it's Kerry here at the Northeast Autism Society and I'm joined again by the lovely Tony and Danny from the Life Science Centre and today we are going to be doing some festive food tasting because it's nearly Christmas. So can you tell us a little bit about what we're going to do? Of course, um, around the holiday times there's lots of foods that we eat that you don't really eat at other times of the year. You wouldn't have a mince pie, say, in the middle of the summer. And also these foods can often be uh, quite dividing. Half the family might like something like, say, Christmas pudding, and then the other half might really not like it. And one reason you might like a food or not is because of how it tastes. So we're going to do an experiment to explore how we taste food. Uh, first up, what part of the body do we taste with? Tongue. Um, your tongue, yeah. With your tongue, yeah, definitely. And so we're going to investigate that and see if it's just our tongues or if we also use our noses as well. Uh, to do this, we're going to need uh, some kind of food. Uh, I'm going to be, uh, we're going to be using some Christmassy foods. So let's start with a chocolate orange. <laughs> I've got some uh, chocolate orange pieces here too. And I didn't bring mine, so I'm just going to have to watch you to try the chocolate orange. Oh no. We'll let you know how it tastes. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to pinch our noses and then take a bite of our chocolate orange and keep our noses pinched. And while we're doing that, and while we're eating it with our noses pinched, we're going to think about what it tastes like. While we're doing that, I'll do a countdown from three. When I get to one, we're going to unpinch our noses and see if anything changes. So, got my chocolate orange at the ready. Thanks. I like this when you get to really focus on the flavour of your food. Okay, let's start chewing. Mm. <laughs> I got really suddenly orangey. As soon as I let go of my nose, there was this orangey taste that wasn't there before. Before that, it was just kind of a bit sweet. Yeah, definitely. I could taste like a little bit of bitterness from the chocolate and a little bit of sweetness, but as soon as I let go, all that kind of like creamy chocolatiness came back and like you say, a bit of the orange as well. That's really surprising. <laughs> so does that mean that our noses were involved in tasting as well? It does. Uh, our tongues can taste five things. Sweet, ah. sour, salty, bitter, and umami, which is kind of like a savoury taste. Um, and when we had our noses pinched, we were only tasting things with our tongues. But inside our heads are lots of tubes that connect our nose and mouth together. And so uh, when our nose is unpinched, the air can move around and we can smell the food that we're eating. Um, there are only five tastes, but there are lots and lots of smells and the different combinations of smells and those five tastes give the food its full flavor. And so for the pinch nose, you can't really taste what's going on, but as soon as you unpinch it, all those flavors come back into play. I guess, is that why sometimes your food tastes a bit boring and dull when you've got a cold? Because your nose is all blocked. You're not you're uh, tasting with your tongue, not with your Exactly, nose. yeah, yeah. Uh, you're not getting any of those extra flavors. Okay, we've done chocolate orange, uh, but that, that's a food that I think quite a lot of people will like. Let's try something that's more likely to split opinions. Uh, let's go for Brussels sprouts. <laughs> oh, Brussels sprouts. You either love Brussels sprouts or you hate them. Mm -hmm. Okay, same as before. We're going to pinch our nose, eat okay. it, and then after a countdown, we'll unpinch and see what changes. Okay. All right, let's go. Oh, oh, <laughs> what happened, Tony? 
I couldn't really taste it at first. It was just crunchy. And then all of the sproutiness came through. I could smell it. <laughs> what about you, Danny? Definitely the same. But I, I quite like sprout, so I found it quite nice when all the flavours appeared. I'm not that keen. I think I'll be eating them with my nose pinched <laughs> in future. <laughs> Now, now, of course, this activity will work with any food. So if you don't like the foods we've tried, if you don't have them at home, or if there's something else you're really curious to try it with, then do that as well and see what kind of things that you can discover. Mm. I'd be really keen to try it with a mince pie because they have the sweetness of the fruit, but they also have the spices, things like cinnamon and cloves and things that are in there. And I wonder whether you can taste those or whether they're really smells. Mm. That's a really good idea. So I think there'll be lots of different festive foods at this time of the year, but it doesn't have to be just festive foods, does it? It can be any foods. Yeah. So I think what we'd like is for our um, young people to have a little go and experiment and remember to hold your nose and then three second countdown and then see if the taste changes with the food. So let us know what you try. Um, this is a really interesting experiment, isn't it? Because you could try any food that mm -hmm. you, you like or even food you don't like. So thank you for that, Danny and Tony. And um, we will see you very soon. Bye, everybody. Bye. Bye.